Today I'm going to show you how to add authentication by Google on a Moodle site, Moodle 3.9. So first thing I'm going to do is just Google, Google Developer, and then go into it. Notice Google Developer Console, which is right here. Click on it. I've got a few APIs on Google, so um, just going to add another one. It's called a project. So basically, you need to go to the dashboard. There's library credentials and so on. And domain verification. So you need to add your domain. I've added my domain. There it is. So uh, I also verified it. Next, I'm going to go to credentials. Click on credentials and notice my options go to create credentials and I'm looking for web go to auth because I want to authenticate client ID click on it and then I've got a few application types go into that choose web there web application very important that you choose that one and then notice what you need to do you give it a name and I'm gonna call it according to my sorry about that according to my online free so I know which one it is because as I said I've got quite a few and that's it so notice what I did here there's my client and my secret they're all there notice what I did here in case you missed that under client ID let's go back to it notice it's a web application if I go to the edit you'll be able to see it make sure that you add the authorized redirect and that's always admin, admin, and the callback. There we go. Dot PHP. So let's go back to plugins and authentication. Scroll down until I get to it. Manage authentic. Oh, you see, it's, I've already managed it. Okay, so I've added O A U T H two, the authentication method. Let me go back to site administration. I'm going to write that down. You need to add that, search for it, scroll down, and then off services. We're going to go to create a Google. So then I'm going to write my ID here and the secret and, and then save. So let's do that now. Get the secret and the ID and save. So this is where I get it over here. Notice web application. Let me click on edit so I can get all the information. Okay, so it's right here now. Can't have it all. So let me just get the ID and add it over here. By the way, nobody else can use it because you need to have the site. There it is. And then the secret. It's really, really easy. So the secret. There we go. Copy it paste it over here there we go and then you don't touch anything all right you just click on save and then i'm going to click on this here to make sure that it works so click on it confirm cross your fingers and then go into this one that's my email and that's it it's in so let me show you how it's in let me log out Okay, so I'm logging out so you can see what it looks like. Go into the login page at the top right, and there it is. And that's how you do it for Facebook as well. Let me know if you have any questions, and happy mood link. Subscribe, and if you have any questions, add to the comment box.